Hey guys, this is going to be very scary for me. Just going to drop it that way, facing head height here. Alright. Wow, I'm surprised. Again, great shape. Last test, Samsung Galaxy 3, 2, 1. So guys, you can see the tempered glass got cracked, but it did save your phone. So thanks to the Rhino Shield tempered glass too, it's very very high, nine inch hardness. You can see phone is perfectly fine. Those are the few drop tests I have done on the past with the Rhino Shield bumper cases. So this is my fifth drop test. So in between that, I have did personal work for my own sake. Just in the video, I have just shown you four of the one. Now you guys know that I'm really a big fan of Rhino Shield. So as just for a demo, you can see I got actually a bunch of them. So many tempered glasses, screen protectors, just completely. Uh, this is so mess up here. I got almost all the smartphones that I do have. I do have Rhino Shield bumper cases. Now, a few things I will tell you before we saw the drop test. Now, I get comments almost after the drop test. You know, phones are okay. There is no visible damage from the outside. So, how about the internal? So, here's a quick fact. So, in case you guys following me on my channel, you guys have seen that almost all the phones that I have dropped in the past, I'm still using them. They're working super quick. The OnePlus 3D, 5, 5D, my Pixel XL, Galaxy S8, Pixel 2 XL, almost all the phones that I have dropped, I'm still using them each day as a daily drivers. I mean, I've just keep on switching between the phones. So just trust on the technology, they'll work fine. Try to use such kind of cases because, you know, smaller cases, they, they are not certified. They may or may not protect. So who knows when you got your bad day. So try to use such kind of cases. Now, which kind of case should you use for drop proof? So whatever case you buy, if it is 810G, ML 810G certified, that means US military, some greatest day, standard. You can just say like we have the ISO. That means uh, that case is drop proof also uh, which case which case you should pick it depends on your design preference in case you want kind of case stuff so there are many brands like spig and ring k you can go with them or if you simply want a crash card which just covers outside which make your phone look cleaner and simple so rhino shield is there definitely and they do offer different different designs too to protect that also we are going to do a review for this uh, tempered glass too so on the Pixar 2 XL and I'm already using them from almost two weeks. You can see I have this turned on. We are going to do a quick test like, you know, how sensitive it is, whether I can have any issues or not using this tempered glasses or not. So guys, let's do a quick review for this case on the Pixar 2 XL and let's do a quick drop test. So let's get started. All right, guys. So here are the device in front of me. So that's the Pixar 2 XL. So currently I am using this, uh, you know, I just have this uh, ring case. Just, just have to test it. So, so far it is also okay. But you know you will get this extra bulb because this thing is going to increase the back width also. But depends on you guys as I mentioned. So let's take that thing out. So taking that thing is always difficult in such kind of cases. So be sure to check out this OnePlus 5T drop test. And before I begin I just want to tell you guys that Rhino Shield they have improved their product quality a lot. I mean they are making very slimmer cases now. Earlier they were you know very very huge. I mean just for a demo. This is a very old case I have. This is OnePlus uh, 3N 3T. So same thing for that. So buttons are very hard to press. You can see I just need to press uh, long, then it just unlocks. So and also this is super annoying. This volume keys are not working very as expected. So a lot of huge improvement they have done compared to what I have used on this latest Pixel 2 XL. And uh, they do show you guys. They do uh, also have this impact protector also. The one I have right now on my OnePlus 3T. This is impact protector. So it is not tempered glass. This is a 6S hardness, 6H. So that means it can easily get scratches, but you know, if the phone is curved screen, definitely it is very, very impactful. You can drop a lot of heavy weights on it. It will just save your phone. Just for reference, I'm showing you here. So that's the old bumper case for OnePlus 3 and 3T. So moving back here, this is my Pixel 2 XL and I right now has this tempered glass stall on it. So a quick look here, how does it look like in case you just improve the brightness. So uh, as I mentioned guys, I'm using this from almost two weeks. I did not see any issues at all. It just typed properly. 
I mean, it's just okay. I mean, whatever, just go and type anything else. It's just super great. Sensitivity is great. Everything is just super cool. Only thing I want to tell you, you know, it is just covering part of the screen because, you know, they have to stick to here somewhat. But I'm not able to see the difference here. Unlike on the Galaxy S8, which just covers most of them because it has a covered screen. But this is just okay. It just covers very, very minimal here. If I just show you guys here on the closer. So it's not taking too much space. Just a small one. So I guess you don't have any problem with that because I did not find any problem in my side too. I'm just comfortable to use that. Sensitivity is super great and it's almost uh, two weeks I have used that. No issues at all. Proper cutout for the speakers and just everything is cool. So let's take that thing here. Uh, here there it is your bumper case. So packaging has changed a lot compared to earlier one. And we just have to slide down from the back which is very annoying. And this is super clean. So bumper clean, bumper case is also very nice. So they got very lightweight here and they are just slimmer, completely rounded. Earlier, you know, they are completely bit square. They just made it rounded. So a lot of define, you know, this design improvement happened this couple of years. So make sure to put on the proper angle. And you can see the best way to apply is just slide from the top and from the bottom side first, then peel for the one edges. And here it is. That's your easy. Now here you can see how easy they are the buttons this time is so much easy clickable compared to earlier when if i just try the same here you can see i need to press a long time so in case uh, you have used the rhino sheet product earlier you're not satisfied with that quality come back again they really improve <laughs> i got here habit so and here it is nothing just clean usual so that's your power button volume working super great so no problem at all you got your proper charging cut out and they do give you guide you know there's a lot of protection both of the front and back so they definitely protect your camera angles too so in case you're not going to use any case so this looks more beautiful because you know it is sounded it gives a great grip in the hand and you can easily see complete background in case you just don't want to you know use such kind of cases we simply hide so no make things shiny or anything else try to use such kind of case rhino shield is great in that and it's really compatible with your tempered glass so that's why you know i told you they cannot make beyond than that because they have to make it compatible to fit the rhino shield tempered glass so there it is guys this is a quick look just take a look here you got uh, actually you can just fit this kind of a stripe here let me show you you can buy an accessory this kind of stripe i have this link in the description this is from the ring key so you can just easily put that thing here just an extra accessory i am sure they are selling such kind of thing too but i just don't have them so i'm just showing you of the other product so there it is this is your closer look here just take a look on the buttons so proper very very nice and lightweight no issues at all front side you got your microphone cutouts proper this is actually for camera for your video stuff so that's your bottom some usual drop test from the very average height five to six feet that most people should be dropping you know if you're just giving a phone to someone else or talking in between that and you should notice here that tempered glass easily comes out very easily so be sure to keep your you know dust removal pad because it's gonna take a lot of dust the glues on the edges and let's try out some more drop tests if you're talking casually if you just slipped off your phone from the hand so any angle you drop i have tried a lot of tests here but it just works very well from two and a half year i'm just doing the same thing so i can tell you guys that so again tempered glass comes out so you can use better some kind of screen protector because this is optional it's not mandatory to use that because case itself is just okay and this is the most toughest one facing the screen side so in case you're not using any bumper case definitely your phone screen will crack even though you're using tempered glass so it will definitely break it so that's how you can see your phone is completely safe here it's working perfectly everything is just super great i do post a lot of photos on instagram so i can just see that everything is works okay here so let's do some other drop test on the i'm just showing you on the bottom side some other things you can easily drop and just dropping again so glass again comes out no problem with that and here is some accidental situation if you're just keeping your phone on the table you know due to vibration if you're getting call or frequent sms's your phone may have felt off on the table even my phone dropped a couple of times here so in that case also it just works great so the bottom line is that if you just drop from any angle you know even up to 10 to 11 feet it is just certified up to 11 feet so to that it's okay with that even if you just accidentally throw it nothing will happen it just works great yeah your case may take some bit of damage you know some minor hairline cracks or damage should come with time so in between the drop guys uh, i just got some hairline crack here and i was just trying to apply the glass it just breaks so 
it happens because it came out so many times easily and i was aware of that thing because on my galaxy s8 it happened the same way it just completely got punctured so i was thinking the same way it just happened either way so i will recommend you use some kind of uh, screen protector or regular tempered glass that's okay uh, do not try to spend extra on this glass the case itself is very enough and sufficient to protect your phone so guys that's been it this is your pixel 2 xl drop test using dino sheet bumper case so rest assured it is very great if you're looking for a minimalistic simple crash card so this is one of the best you can buy otherwise the other cases available too which do offer the same mil std 810g so depends on your choice for simple and clean looking this is great otherwise check out the other previous videos for more popular cases which you can really use it so guys hope you get it enjoyed it this is startup thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you very soon have a great day